A Minnesota family now has answers they thought they would never get. They finally know who killed their beloved grandmother. Lillian Cooler was strangled in her St. Paul home off of Grand Avenue back in 1987. The 81-year-old left behind a devastated and puzzled family. The case was unsolved until Friday when Michael Anthony Withers, who was in prison for a series of burglaries, pleaded guilty to killing Cooler. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us how Lillian's family has a long-awaited sense of relief. Should I say darling? She was <laughs> feisty. Uh, Definitely vivacious, okay. very inquisitive. Her mushroom barley soup was spectacular. Yeah. Lillian Cooler is still making her grandchildren proud. The lifelong dancer toured the country and caught the eye of the man whom she would build a family with. She had a handful of recipes that, like, you just, you start smelling it, and you know, like, oh, this You're is going to be phenomenal. <laughs> Elegant into her 80s, the new widow lived in the St. Paul home. That home is also where she died. I don't remember who called me, but I do remember the minute I picked up the phone, um, this feeling came over me, and um, my knees buckled. Their grandmother was strangled in the night by an intruder. Nothing was stolen, but for Lillian's family, everything had been taken. You don't think anybody would be that violent or do something to somebody that's old and frail. But they did, and for three decades, the case went unsolved. For us to not know for so long, and what I did is about every year or two years, I'd call up and say, have you heard anything or whatever, just kind of keep it in their thoughts or in their minds to, to do that. The cousins say St. Paul's cold case officer stayed on it, even after funding for the cold case unit was cut. A year and a half ago that I got a call and they said, well, we got a hit on the DNA and uh, we're going to pursue it to its end point. The break came when the BCA did DNA testing on fingernail clippings that led them to a Stillwater inmate with a history of burglaries. And Friday, he pleaded guilty to killing Lillian. I can't be more than happy to know that he's going to be put away for a long enough time that if he gets out, it'll be a very old man and that he won't be a danger to society anymore. And now, after three decades of unrest, Lillian's family has some peace. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. Lillian's grandchildren say the reason they agreed to sit down for such a personal interview is that they hope to raise awareness for cold case unit funding. They say their case proves cold case investigations work, especially with new DNA tools.